Hey YouTube, this is Mike from Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is about my go bag, bug out bag, patrol pack, whatever you want to call it. I have a bunch of different packs that do different things, but this is kind of the one where I just grab and go. Like say something happens, I need to uh, grab my gear, you know, tactical gear, go out and uh, fight the good fight or something like that. Like say I was called up or, you know, it's like, say it was like a militia, I got to go respond or... Um, I need to go out patrolling for a couple days or something like that. You know, it's, sh it's short term. It's not a inch bag, you know, like I'm uh, never coming home bag. It doesn't have all the stuff. This is how I have it set up. I'm not saying you need to set it up this way. This is just what I have due to my needs and my requirements. And um, also with the understanding that some of the stuff I have is on my other lo lines, like my first line on my, in my pockets and stuff like that or on my battle belt or whatever else I would be carrying in conjunction with this bag. So it's not all inclusive. This may not work for you. I'm just saying this is my setup. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas, uh, some good ideas of what you can put in your setup. So with that, let me pause and I will go to the, uh, I'll switch camera around so we can start looking at this. Okay, so here's the bag. This is the bag I picked up on my other, another video I did about thrift store preps. It's a source. Really nice, pretty good quality tactical bag, I think. Um, haven't done research on the company yet, so I don't know. But there's some indications that it's a mil-spec bag. One of them being right here, this right here. And, uh, you know, the hydration em empty, or the uh, hydration thing, which, I mean, a lot of bags have hydration, but this is a good indicator. This is like a military spec bag. Um, so, yeah, and this is just a, uh, this is just a sniper veil that I throw over it for like a covering. Um, and it's just a place to put it, <laughs> another way. Oh, and I just weighed this bag. This bag, as it's set up right now, weighs 30.2 pounds. So, eh, you know, I guess it could be heavier, it could be a little bit lighter. But this is how I have it set up, and uh, this is why I, te I tell you guys to work out, get physically fit, because me carrying this stuff around, as well as my battle belt, my plate carrier, and all this stuff like that, I can do it. So you need to be able to do the things. But anyway, let me get into the bag now. As you can see, one of the first things you can see right here is a Gerber uh, machete. It's just a, uh, here, let me see. Just a machete. It does the things. It's obviously been used a lot. It's pretty decent quality. You know, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's what I got. I think my, uh, my oldest daughter gave it to me for Christmas. So uh, it's pretty nice, it does the things. All right, going in here, I will start down here on this pocket. Ah, there we go. All right, so we'll open up this. You see a trauma pack with quick clot in it. Pretty decent thing to have. It has 25 milligrams of quick clot, uh, five by nine trauma pad, uh, gloves, duct tape, triangular bandage, some sterile dressings, or sterile gauze, um, sterile dressings, conforming gauze, uh, antiseptic wipes, and uh, a bag, and a little uh, first aid thing in it. So that's pretty decent, so we got that. We got in here pepper spray. Pepper spray is really good to have. Lots of different uses for pepper spray. We have 550 cord, a bunch of cordage. I have water purification tablets. And this obviously is my little, kind of like my little survival pouch area. So I got some um, hand warmers. Got a emergency blanket, just a foil emergency blanket. I have a waterproof container with matches in it. I have the little cheapo chain saw thing. You know, you grab the you grab the ends and you go you go back and forth to cut wood or something like that. It's just a cheapo little thing. It doesn't weigh anything, so I just threw it in. Who knows if I'll ever need it? In this Ziploc bag, I have some MRE toilet paper. <laughs> I have a flashlight, just an LED flashlight. It is a Duracell. It's okay. I got it at Costco in a pack of three, I think. More cordage, because you can never have too much cordage. A Snickers bar <laughs> for some uh, instant energy calories, same with the Twix bar, and a lighter. So that's just what I got in that bag. Um, yeah, I'll put that back together here in a second. Or here, let me see. Uh, so, yeah, and this is just, like I said, all in, this isn't an all-inclusive. This is what works for me. Uh, you might, guys may want different things. It's all based on your area of operations, your capabilities, and um, what you have available to you also. 
here. I'll put most of the stuff back in one bag. That's where it's supposed to be. Put this in here, put this here, there you go. Nice and uh, compact, tight, all together. Here, actually, let me loosen up these straps here so I can get to the sides easier. Much easier to open up when this is all, this is loosened a little bit. All right, it's got a little side pouch here. What is in there? Oh, that's right. I haven't put anything in there yet. That's where we put my little write in the rain notebook and pen. I just haven't put it in yet. I forgot about that. All right, and here I got, it's got spare mag pouches. So I got two spare mags. I have a pair of, just a little, not too expensive pair, a little pair of binoculars. Um, I have a pocket knife. Just This is a cheapo. It's a Leatherman pocket knife, so it's not too bad. I have a couple of chem, chem lights. So I got three chem lights in here. I have big heavy duty zip ties. You can see them here for restraining people. These zip ties are awesome for handcuffs. So that's in that pouch. That's all that's in there. So, yeah, so two extra mags, there's 30 round mags. Um, doing the thing. So let me see. I'll go to this pouch, main, main pouch. Sorry about the wind, hopefully it's not too bad. All right, main pouch. So inside the main pouch, is another little pouch right here and I have just shoved in a roll of toilet paper crushed down roll of toilet paper inside there okay so this is an IFAC just another uh, first aid kit and in it I have some uh, um, what is this oh yeah Coban co uh, cohesive dressing and then this is all like a in a pouch all right and this is just a uh, it's a Marine Corps issue desert pattern pouch that I hit with some spray, a little bit of spray paint. But all right, in this bag, I have Mercurial Clear. It's a um, antiseptic. It's like a, oh, it's antiseptic. I'm I, I'm brain farting what it's what it's a replace of. Uh, oh, it's not. It's non shellfish non shellfish based uh, antiseptic. Some rolled gauze. Some band-aids, a bunch of band-aids. Another emergency blanket. And that's for warming a victim. That's not for like a survival blanket. Some super glue. Some more stretchy bandage, cohesive bandage. Some triple antibiotic ointment. Whoa. Some more, some more rolled gauze. Some, uh, oh yeah, hand sanitizer. Uh, I got a couple tampons in here. And no, those are not for shoving into wounds. Those are for fire starter to use the uh, sterile cotton or whatever. They're just useful to have around. Um, and then here's a bunch of uh, um, alcohol pads in here. And then, uh, yeah, some feminine pads. Also, gauze. And then triple A or non-stick um, pads. So that's what's in there and a couple pairs of uh, uh, nitrile gloves. So let me just throw all this back in here. And some of the things are redundant, you see. Those are the things that I feel I want, you know, I need or I want to be redundant. Um, you don't need to have redundancy as much as I have if that's not what you, if that's not what you desire. But I'm not going to worry about stuffing that all in properly because I want it stuffed properly. I like storing my gear in a proper and, you know, logical manner. This is a chillax um, hammock. It's a really nice hammock. Um, yeah, does the thing. Uh, this, is a, this is a uh, um, the uh, uh, layering system. This is a base layer pants. So for warmth, it's winter time. So this is set up to be winter time. Base layer pants. Base layer top. Merino wool socks. Just a uh, rifle wrap of camouflage. The wrapper under rifle, or you can use it for any, you know, just little things. Camouflage bandit or uh, bandana. Entrenching tool, e tool. This one is used or not used. This one's new. I haven't used it yet. I have other others just exactly like this, same brand that I've used extensively, and they work pretty well. Um, it's just called a GI style double folding shovel. Just folds like that and opens up however you want it. So really good, you know, these are good to have. You gotta be able to dig yourself um, shell scrapes or other fixed fighting positions if you're out doing the things. 
So, and around here, so I have some uh, uh, Gore-Tex um, ah, strip them apart. Gators. You know what gators are? Gators go, um, basically, loop, this loop goes over your bottom of your boot, and then this straps up your leg. So it keeps your legs, the bottom part of your leg, that, that boot to um, pant interface dry. Um, this is just a camouflage, uh, like a neck wrap, fleece, neck wrap, neck wrap for warmth. Then I have a stripped MRE. Um, I don't know what mule this is, but I stripped out all the stuff I don't need and packed it the way I want it. So I got a stripped MRE for food, for calories. Some more of that camo wrap. And then I have one canteen, two canteens full, and I have two packs of the Daytrex rations. And this combined is, um, I think it's 24, or no, 3,600 calories in here. So the 3,600 calories times two. I got two of those in here. I have military Gore-Tex woodland pants. I have a poncho, military poncho. The poncho goes over where my hammock is. My hammock will be strung underneath. So that's it. That's about it. Um, you saw that. You saw I got a hydration bladder here in the back. It's a 100 milliliter. So that's what I carry. Um, like I said, here, let me get down. This may not work for you. Um, like I said, this is tailored to my needs, my how my gear is set up, and what I need for my area of operation, for my level or my skill level, for my skill sets, and just how I, you know, how I want it set up, basically. So take from it what it is. Take from it, you know, any information um, that you think is a good idea. But this isn't necessarily what you should have. This is just to get you thinking about what you, what kinds of things you need. See what I have in mind. Um, maybe point you in the right direction, but like I always say, get those creative juices flowing. I'm not going to give you all the answers. I want you guys to think for yourselves. Um, you guys got to be able to do the things, because when SHGF happens, you're not going to be able to turn on one of my videos or ask me a question or send me an email or something like that for some help. So I want you guys to empower yourselves and to be good and to be prepared. So prep a little every day. Prep out of peace of mind, not out of fear. Um, fitness is key. Like I said, all this gear you're carrying around, it's, it gets heavy. It adds up. So be fit, exercise, um, and uh, please subscribe, please like, comment below, and blessings to you and yours.